The lich spares you an impassive glance. I do hope you are here with good reason, student. I am occupied with my ruminations on the ritual you and I shall perform together. I resurrected the dragon Terendalev. Now she serves me. A silver dragon? Rather impressive. These powerful beasts are wise, but their way of seeing things is usually too different from ours, thus making them fit only for being undead slaves. The cigarette has been upgraded. Perfect. Now we can harness a colossal amount of energy to use in the ritual. However, any attempts of sabotage would compromise our undertaking. Subdue your unduly obstinate advisors to ensure we shall not be impeded by their stupidity, and then we shall open the door to your eternal life. What? I'm leaving. What is the problem? I already took care of that. Oh, okay, and now all of a sudden he recognized that. Now that everything is ready, we may proceed with the ritual. Bolster your spirit and inform me when you are fully ready. It will be a great challenge followed by a great reward. I'm leaving. Let the ritual begin. Zakaris burst out laughing and nods, clearly satisfied. <laughs> now begins the great transformation. Now begins the sacramental rite. What challenges will I face? Zakaris gives you a sinister grin. We shall commit a murder. We must extinguish all the passions in your heart. They bind you too tightly to your mortality and keep your soul attached to this living body of blood and bone. You must renounce your desires, destroy them, and your heart will become cold, hard, and dead. Only then will you have the power you desire, but the price will be high. How dangerous will this be for me? I will say it will be painful, this time you will actually die. Before that, though, you will have to endure great suffering. Whether you bear it or die in the process rests solely on your resolve. What powers will I gain? Immortality. The eternal amulet that will prevent your soul from departing this life to Phrasma's judgment. And power. Phenomenal power that will grant you the right to reign supreme over death itself. Let's begin. Zacharias bursts into triumphant laughter that rings with the promise of the freedom he has sought for decades. I shall not ask how far you are willing to go and what you are willing to sacrifice for your power, for the only sacrifice in this ritual is you. Let us proceed. Witness this great and terrible deed. This mortal soul will reject the curse of perdition and eternal rebirth at Phrasma's hand. This mortal brands its heart with the blessed seal of undeath and its forehead with the crown of power and immortality. Let the fires burn bright so that the whole world sees your villainous atrocities and may your virtue be consumed by the flames. Flies and death's head hawk moths circle above your head, creating a halo of insects. You hear the cries and squawks of countless vultures in the distance. The sweet stench of rot fills the air. Ergotho is with you. The goddess is here to witness your moment of triumph. This is the hour of your great torment, and I shall not spare you from suffering. Greed and avarice are fierce passions that can overwhelm even the purest hearts, but you must reject the gifts of this generous world and put to death your desire for riches. You must surrender your greatest treasure. These braces are inscribed with a promise. Your destiny is bound to them, but today we are going to change your destiny. Reject these false promises. Take off the braces and hand them to me requires lich mythic path give away the treasure wealth 
is but dust slipping through my fingers. The Lich takes the object from your hands. Beautiful. This magnificent item will make an excellent vessel for your soul. Once we put your soul into this phylactery, it will reside there forever, hidden from death. You will be untouchable. These worldly treasures are the easiest sacrifice to make. Once you have obtained greatness, you will be able to accumulate tremendous wealth. But now I'm going to deprive you of the gifts given by life itself. I will take your youth, your bodily strength, your muscles will go limp, and your joints will become fragile. Your eyes will grow dim, your tongue will not be able to taste, and your brain will shrink. You will never again feel the joy of a healthy body or partake in the pleasure of the flesh. Are you ready to give up all of this and more? Requires Lich, Mythic Path. Take away my youth and vitality. The body is insignificant. Only the mind and the spirit are important. Sakaris waves his hand in a swift, sure motion and pain shoots through your whole body. He leeches your vigor and vitality like a giant spider sucks the blood from its prey. Your whole body begins to age rapidly. Your bones creak, you feel the pain of old wounds, and your fingers lose their strength. Zacharias's withered face betrays no emotion, but you can sense his delight in your suffering. At last, it is time for the ultimate sacrifice. Are you ready to surrender the soul of the creature you love best? Are you prepared to end the life of the one your heart desires? You know of whom I speak. A true master of death cannot have a lover. Shatter this bond, put the victim on the altar, wash your face in their blood, and achieve greatness. Love? I didn't have the time for such silliness. The lich chuckles dryly and cracks his bony knuckles. Well then, you've already begun the process. Your soul is ready to embrace its final death. Let us finish the labor you have started. Power courses through you. Unstoppable, unimaginable power. It overwhelms your body, constricting your movement. The power steals the breath from your lungs and makes your ribs crack. It roars like a hurricane and tears away your flesh. You are being stripped of everything, hollowed out and emptied until only your spirit your true essence remains, the stern and proud master of death, a ruler no longer bound by the fetters of mortal flesh. Your vision fades, your heartbeat falters, you hear a commotion outside the walls of the ziggurat. Shouts, the noise of battle, it doesn't matter. Darkness comes over you. A pleasant chill runs through your body and you feel at peace. Your heart beats no more. This is the end. Intruders, the cigarette has been breached to arms. You are a disgrace. You distort the philosophy of death, Professor Snape. Char always knew you were treacherous. He saw the corruption in your heart. Hmm. Fight them without my lich. <laughs> your defeated enemies are huddled at your feet. They murder curses and wait nervously for you to decide their fate. What an unusual alliance. I'm surprised that you managed to put aside your differences and work together. Septimus glares at you. You make enemies wherever you go. Stopping you was paramount, so I turned a blind eye to my code of honor. I would have even helped the Knights of Ozma if that's what it took to get rid of you. The Crusader summons up his courage and reaches for his sword with his injured hand. Their turn shall come. 
but first we must destroy you. You are the greatest threat to Mendev. The Order of the Sunrise Sword will always be your enemy. For Char! Address the Crusaders. Traitors! How dare you turn against me? Despite their humiliating defeat, the Knights are trying to maintain some semblance of dignity. They cast hateful glances in your direction, but they are clearly terrified of you. Oh, but it is you who have betrayed us. You were given the honor of leading the crusade, but you defiled our champions and turned them into blasphemous undead. You broke your oaths and betrayed Iomade. You deceived many, but not Char. He could sense the evil in your heart. He forbade us from sheathing our swords until we plunged them into your chest. Evil. The undead will teach you the meaning of obedience and discipline. Kill them. Serve you? No. That is a fate worse than death. Curse you, you unholy and monstrous abomination. The other captives watch you as they await your judgment. Septimus, you cowardly wretch. You may have fled from me once, but you will die here today. The vampire's voice does not falter. You are a monster. You defile the very idea of the living and the dead coexisting in peace. Someone must put an end to your tyranny. You must be dealt with at once. So, of course, throughout the playthrough, we've usually done either the lawful or the evil option, but I'm actually going to go with Chaotic here because I feel like this fits my lich much more. Once he closes the wound, he plans to spread his power out as far as he can possibly take it, including Gab. So it makes more sense that he would send a threat directly towards Gab. Chaotic. Geb will regret sending such a foolish diplomat. After I vanquish the world wound, I shall destroy Geb and you will witness my triumph. But for now, brick him up within a wall of the ziggurat. He won't be able to escape from there. The vampire's eyes fill with fear. He whispers in shock. War? You... You, you wouldn't dare. We will destroy... Have I really brought doom to my beloved homeland? What have I done? It is over. All that remains are the bodies at your feet, but your undead servants will soon take care of them. Zakaris holds your phylactery in his skeletal fingers. Welcome to Unlife, my former student. From now on, you are a lich, a true master of the undead. My ritual gave you power beyond your wildest dreams. The lich cocks his head to the side as if he's listening to something. The promise I've made is fulfilled at last. I am no longer obligated to serve the crusade. He looks at you and there's an evil gleam in his eyes. Am I immortal now? Yes, although there are some limitations to your immortality. However, you no longer have to fear death from old age. You will not grow sick or decrepit. The blades and spells of your enemies will be powerless to end your existence. Even if your body is destroyed, your soul inside the phylactery will bring you back and allow you to regain your physical form. Evaluate your new state of existence. Everything around you feels different. You can sense the subtle energies that flow between the planes. Countless mortal souls whirl around you in an ethereal dance, reaching out to you with their translucent fingers. You can hear their whispers clearly. There is now a void within your chest, cold and tranquil. It is incredible how clear and focused your mind has become now that the vulgar, incessant thumping of your heart has been silenced. You are holding the vessel that contains my soul. 
give it to me. The lick chuckles with sinister glee. Not so fast, apprentice. Not too long ago, you held my phylactery in your hands and tried to extort me for power. But now, I have your phylactery. I have power over you. I didn't extort you. You offered to share your power with me. Maybe you did and maybe you didn't. But in the end, you took advantage of me to gain power. And what have I gained in return? Nothing except for my freedom, which is mine by right anyway. So why shouldn't I take back my generous gift? What exactly is a phylactery? It is the vessel that holds your soul. While your phylactery is intact, you do not have to fear physical destruction because it would always bring you back. But should something happen to this vessel? Zacharias runs a bony finger along the side of the crystal and the unspoken threat is clear. What will happen if you destroy my phylactery? It is unlikely that you will feel anything, but once you lose your phylactery, you will become as vulnerable as you were before the ritual. Your soul will return to your dry bones. And if someone hacks your body to pieces and consigns it to the flames, your soul will depart to face Phorasma's judgment where you will be punished in full for your sins. Of course, you could always create a new phylactery. If only you knew how. <laughs> What do you want from me? Grovel. Get on your knees and beg for mercy. Who knows? Perhaps I will spare you. Have I ever disregarded your advice? We have much in common. I'm sure you understand it is better to have someone like me as your ally and not your enemy. Zacharias nods reluctantly. Ooh, indeed. You were a fine student. You raised the banner of death above the gates of the Crusader stronghold, completed all of my tasks, and procured the secret knowledge of the Lady in Shadow. You showed cruelty and cunning as you defeated your enemies and turned on allies who could have become your future foes. You truly did sacrifice everything to become a Lich. I really couldn't ask for a better student. Very well. Let the past remain in the past. Take your place beside me, and I shall treat you as my equal. Sakaris hands you the phylactery respectfully. The lich bows his head respectfully. I do not believe in fate, but if I did, I would say that your appearance in my sanctum was not an accident. Out of all the mortals in the world, I was fortunate enough to encounter you. A person with limitless potential and a will of iron. Most mortals are fools. I regret sharing my power with any of them, but I do not regret the time and effort I have invested in you because you are worthy. After a student finishes their apprenticeship, it is tradition for their master to give them a gift. So please accept this from me. I am proud to have been your master, Professor Snape. We are done here. I am leaving this barren land so that I can forget all about demons, crusades, and improvidently sworn oaths. Farewell, crusader, and do not trouble me again. Aw, oh, man. That was awesome, first and foremost, but beyond that, even though he was happy with me, I still wanted the opportunity to kill him. <laughs> Is that wrong of me? <laughs> he was so nice and sweet in his final comments, but I didn't give a damn. <laughs> I wanted to kill you. All right, it is what it is. Hey, oh, that's right. We bricked up, um, what's his name? So I guess we didn't get whatever items are on his person. How'd you feel about that, Tourette and Lev? Ah, you're still, still unhappy to be working for me? Fuck up, buckaroo. All right, um... That was awesome. And I believe now, ladies and gentlemen, hey, why is my, I am first up, thank you very much. I believe with that, I am officially a lich. Oh, right, he gave me a bell. Claps of death. This robe grants us wear a plus six enhancement bonus to all mental score of 
mental ability scores, intelligence, wisdom, and charisma. In addition, if the wearer of this robe has the ability to channel negative energy, it increases the amount of damage this ability does to living creatures or heals to undead creatures by 2d6. Crazy. And what's this? Your phylactery. This item grants this wearer deadly magic ability. If the wearer already has deadly magic, it grants them two additional uses. In addition, once per day when the wearer's health falls below zero, it is restored to a maximum. Can only be equipped by a lich. And hey, I wear it on my wrist. And lich. Ooh. <laughs> Bow before me. Oh, oh, that feels good. <laughs>